Hello, my name's Dave Myers. I'm with Cuckoo for Cocoa of the Cocoa Exchange. And uh, today uh, I'm here to kind of try out for the first time one of the Cocoa Ch Exchange recipes and kind of show you how it goes. And in this time uh, we are struggling on not knowing what to do and stuff. The Cocoa Exchange has made an offer of its pot and bean products. Its pot and bean products are its savory things. And today we're going to make uh, chicken bean taco soup. And we're using the cherry habanero sauce and the uh, Mexican seasoning blend. And the cool thing about the pot and beans done, stuff that uh, the Cocoa Exchange has done is they made all of their pot and bean products half price. And that in turn can make your cooking simpler because it can be with a, with a plan, if you will. The seasonings are taken care of, the necessary sauces are taken care of, you just provide a few of the, the ingredients to make it uh, really, really sing. And, um, just starting these videos, I hope to be uh, the first of many, and um, I hope that uh, you enjoy it, and I hope you uh, give our products a try. They're very good, and we're going to make some soup now. Like I mentioned, we're going to make the chicken uh, taco soup, and the Cocoa Exchange products that we're featuring today are the cherry habanero sauce, and the uh, Mexican seasoning blend. The other cool thing I'd like you to realize about these products, there's a couple of things I'll tell you about it, is number one, this particular recipe only calls for I think a third of a cup. So you got several kinds of different recipes in one jar here. Same thing with the seasoning. It doesn't require it all and you can use it multiple times for multiple things. With that, let me move on to the, uh, what's gonna be on our choco uh, chicken bean taco soup what you kind of need well obviously if it's chicken you got to have some chicken you can make it any kind of way you want the recipe calls for I believe ground chicken but we just went and uh, got a um, rotisserie chicken it's already it's well seasoned already we're going to take about part of the breast off cut that into chunks and stuff and that's going to be our chicken you need an onion you need garlic you, oh the big item the big thing pinto beans. So we're going to drain those pinto beans and use them in the soup. We're going to have a chicken broth base and some cumin and paprika. So I got a couple things, onion and celery and chicken to chop up. So I'm going to take these items and start chopping. Like I said, um, we this is the first of a video and this next uh, week and a half until the end of the month, uh, we're going to try and do a video recipe uh, every other day or so and let you know kind of how we uh, see how the company selects to use the products I'm looking forward to where I feel comfortable enough to do in some of my own um, uh, uh, playing around with some and playing with it a little bit in my recipes because you can do stuff with it whatever you whatever you can come up with but the people at uh, the cocoa exchange you know, they're uh, all master chefs and they've come up with recipes you're getting recipes that you know will work so I'm doing the chicken here and I decided that I'm going to use a half a chicken so it combines the white meat and the dark meat uh, as I mentioned earlier you can uh, um, mix around with however you do it um, use chicken breast to cook it uh, matter of fact it, it mentioned about cooking the uh, in the recipe mentioned about uh, uh, cooking a ground chicken in um, <coughs> coconut oil so but one of the things uh, I'm going to tell you right here right now I'm not a cook I definitely let my wife know I don't like to cook um, but I got into this company and their products and I tasted their chocolate chocolate was great then I went to my cocoa coach, who's become my cocoa coach, Marcy Handler, and um, tasted the savory stuff, and this stuff is good. This stuff is really good. It makes your, um, uh, your meal planning simple, and on the surface, it looks like you go, wow, this costs a lot. Like, I think the retail value is 12 bucks or something on the, on the cherry habanero, kind of close to that. 
Um, however, like I mentioned, it's half price, so half price is a great, pr a great price. But it goes for several things. It's not just for one, one thing. So keep that in mind. You're not uh, uh, spending your money all on one. Now you're stuck at home, so you're going to probably definitely restaurants or like drive up. Uh, yeah, why not have some of these products uh, shipped directly to your door? Uh, 550 is the uh, one um, shipping charge. Doesn't matter what you get. And there you go. You got the, the main ingredients. Uh, you can refer to me. Refer to the, the website for. Uh, uh, recipes and start digging in your freezer use some of that stuff that maybe been in there a little bit too long and bam you got got, got your meal plan going okay um, now we've got all our stuff prepped and well, all it was to do it was chop it cut make sure we had the spices and stuff and Charlie helped me with that so we know it's all right and um, so uh, about what's ne left to do next is to, you know, put it in the pot. That's about it. All right, so we got the coconut oil under control there. We kind of melted and we're gonna dump a chicken in. And the garlic. It's uh, actually, and I personally would think it would be better with cloves of garlic, but this is what we got, so we're going to use that. Okay, I I, uh, I do a lot of uh, official measuring here. I never cook, and I'm guessing the measurements. Isn't that great? Now we come to our cocoa exchange product. Uh, it's the first time I've used the uh, Mexican seasoning. I have used the uh, cocoa rub on uh, smoking and everything, and I'm going to tell you what, it's spectacular. We use it on briskets, use it on steaks. So I uh, have no doubt that this is going to be spectacular as well. Stir and simmer for five minutes. We got all our stuff in except the final item of the, of the line. Oh, and the beans. So, um, it seemed to me as this recipe was coming together um, that we could add, I mean, I could add a little bit of touch of my own. And uh, we're going to give a try to um, a small bag of uh, frozen corn. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add to the soup. We almost forgot about it, so um, we're putting that stuff in and uh, going to let that kind of simmer a little bit um, and see how we like it. Uh, we can let you know if the corn is a plus or a minus. Well, our, our um, chicken and bean taco soup has simmered, and we're ready to give this baby a try. So, uh, he, he, look it into the bowl. It looks pretty doggone good. It just came out really nice. Um, that I, li I like the color, uh, the yellow color that the corn added. So, I'm just going to give a little bit, kind of give how to finish this off a little bit. So, we got our soup here, our chicken bean taco soup using Cocoa Exchange Pod and Bean Products Cherry Habanero Sauce 
and the Mexican seasoning. They are half price uh, until the end of the month. Uh, so to finish this off, I've got some tortilla chips here, crumpled them up. Uh, gonna take a little bit. I happen to have sharp cheese. I don't care what kind of cheese it is. I usually like it. Uh, you can use a me Mexican blend. Sprinkle a little uh, 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 cheese over the top. It'll melt down. And uh, the recipe originally calls for sprinkling a little bit of cilantro over. I'm gonna use a lime. So uh, can't go very far without trying to see what this tastes like. So here we go. Uh, Get a little bit of that cheese, a little bit of the tortilla. Hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, it uh, the uh, celery in there has a little bit of crunch to it. It can taste the chicken. It can taste the blend of the the seasonings. Perfect. Not too hot. Um, uh, I like the little bit of the crunch and going of the corn. I like corn. It's not like my special thing. I think it added a little bit need of the color. And so there you have it. Um, chicken, bean, and taco soup. Dave Myers with uh, Cuckoo for Cocoa, the Cocoa Exchange. And uh, if you want to know more about how to get Cocoa Exchange products, especially the pot and bean stuff while it's on special and use with the, your meal plan, uh, contact me be more than welcome to go to our Facebook page cuckoo for cocoa and message us or watch for the um, in the description of this video there'll be some information and links on where you can go Dave Myers cuckoo for cocoa